um, so there is such a thing called the spiritual search and um, the spiritual search can take a gazillion forms apparently and um, one of the more um, and they're all kind of images that are sought um, and one of the more um, out there ones let's just say is the search for no self um, and so and the view then held is that uh, it will be better when there's no self then then it would be amazing and that can be a perspective there might already be a seeing through with that um i've no idea um but the spiritual search can take that form and um and then this idea can stumble upon somehow this idea or concept or whatever sensing that there is no one can stumble upon your periphery and it's sought after and it's sought after as a kind of an answer to this and um i suppose what this today is about is um the very disappointing and wonderful um sound of that there is already no one already and it's not a a place to get to or a thing to have there is no one in there that can have so there are thoughts feelings sensations there is whatever chatter is appearing um and all that has been said here is that uh, there's nobody doing that that there is no one and um and so then there with that the power the the paradox becomes rapidly apparent to the absolute pointlessness of this meeting that if there is no one seeking then there's no one that can find and that really that's that's at the heart of um what's going to come out of this mouth i suspect maybe other stuff about dog crap or whatever but that's at the heart of it and in essence really it's a sort of a constant returning to this, to sitting on a chair, to hearing sounds, to um, to the immediacy and suddenness of simply this. And that's not a kind of a, a, you know, a trying to return to this or a wanting to show this or say this or explain this. There's just this and nobody knows what this is. Now, you'll... You, you look out onto the world, it would seem there's a gazillion stories about this. And some of them may be heartfelt, some of them may be um, wondrously evocative and interesting and exciting. Um, this is <laughs> exciting and horrendous in the sense that um, there's absolutely nothing on offer. So there's no authority on this. No authority. So in a way that can be, um, I, that can be unsettling. And then the seeking for authority can be something that can continue to happen. But there is no authority about nothing. So there's... <laughs> And so then if that's if that's apparently the case, no authority. So then there's nobody here, nobody there, nobody seeking, nobody blabbering. And this is the end of the universe. In a way, and. Um, uh, but obviously. Um, you know, this is a kind of a meeting where we can, where questions might be there and they're there to be asked or something is there to be said, then it's there to be said. There is no right way to talk. They're not doing the talking, but then there's the idea that there is a non-dual spiel and it's so, it's so boring to try and figure out the correct way to talk. Who cares? Nobody cares. 
this is free to be exactly um, whatever it's 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 going to be. <laughs> um, and um, but um, if there was if there's something that is there to be asked, then just unmute and ask and go for it. And uh, let's see what happens. Thomas asked, could you please carry on for a bit longer? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What what are you curious about? Or is what you just love my Irish tones? <laughs> is there something you'd like to talk about? Is there something on, on your mind or anything that you'd like? Never, never, no question. Never. You cannot even articulate one question. Yeah, okay. It's impossible. Yeah, okay. I, I, I love to hear it. I absolutely love to hear it. But whatever you say. <laughs> whatever I say, yeah. Yeah, in a way, it's funny this, um, because there is a, it's a kind of, a, it's a, it is a story at the start but it seems to set the scene for what this is. And in a way it is the kind of illumination of this, the ordinariness of it, but it's the illumination. This is way, it's nothing to do with anything that's coming out of my mouth. You know, it's not a specific thing. The, the line of this is just so fine. It seems that if there's something, if there was something known or to be explained or, you know, that I could really, that I could volunteer, it, um, then it would be totally different. Then I, I'd have something to share, you know? Whereas this really, in a way, it comes alive when there's a question because there's nothing to be volunteered. There's nothing known. This is, who knows what this is? This is, who knows how to say who knows? It's just somehow, maybe it's this, you know, when the sky is seen, it's just the sky. It becomes known as the sky. And it, it's felt like I know the sky. And, but the underpinning is really, is permanently, constantly there of this not knowing, you know? So, um, and that's why in a way it really depends. There's just, there's just nothing to say. And yes, here's more <laughs> talking. So it comes alive as questions in a way, you know. Um, but then it doesn't have to be anything. It doesn't have to be, uh, it doesn't have to be questions because we're talking about this that can't be known. This, 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 
this, this, and this, and this, this, this. So it appear or knowing seems to appear, but it's not. It's not real. There's no. There's no knowing. This can't be known, and it's always this. In a way, you know, at the beginning and end of it is this is it. So then, whatever is to be said is it. Whatever is asked is this. So there isn't really even a question, which is amazing. You know, it's not like oh, question there, response there is. <laughs> you know, so it's so totally nothing to do. Yeah. There you go now, more sounds. I'm going to shut the door here because I open the window and it's going to start banging. But I do enjoy the silence on your meetings as well. You know, I got a bit, I'm a bit tired of questioning on other meetings when it's question after question after question. <laughs> I love the, the, the silence in your meetings. <laughs> it's just... Well, it's just how, you know, it appears, uh, let's just say it appears to go mm -hmm. as opposed to, and like really, where's the silence? You know, it's not, uh, you could say, well, there's, this is silence sounding, and then this silence, and there's still like if you were to be a big spoil sport about it, you go, well, there's sounds of traffic in silence as silence, or there's just fully sounds of si or sounds of traffic. You know, it's just that the it's there's this idea that uh, like there there really really isn't silence, which is wonderful. Except, you know, it's more like not talking, let's just say. And by any kind of, I was talking to somebody else about this, that by any standards, you know, you were, if there's silence at, you know, by normal standards of meetings, <laughs> if there's no questions being asked, it's, Jesus, yeah, this, is, this is terrible. But it's just how it is, which is kind of lovely. Um, Frank, Frank. Hello. Frank. Hey, Olivia. Hi. <laughs> uh, hey, I want to irritate Tom. <clears throat> Two. I, I like how you started your your uh, dispute today about uh, don't put importance on losing the self. It's kind of what it's heard mm -hmm. because that happens too. Yeah, I'm not saying you know, I, I didn't. I wouldn't have prescribed. I wouldn't have said don't put importance. I would have just said there's right. already no self there, and um, there can be lost in images that then of oh, being a no self would be great, but there's already right. no self, and that's the paradox. That in a way, this is utterly, wonderfully, brilliantly pointless. There's yeah. already no self. Oh. It's, uh, you said uh, silence speaking, silence, blah, blah, blah. Can blah, blah, blah do silence? <laughs> well, you see, there isn't really silence. I'm pretty sure I said there isn't silence. You know, there's just, yeah. there's simply, you could say, if you wanted to, and this is a big, this is a story, you could say there's the, the hearing, there's hearing now. And that you can't do hearing, but there's hearing, and this is talking, and it seems like we're talking about a thing then called silence, and it's 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 basically what what it is is everything is objectified. So the self is objectified, and no self is objectified. Nothing is objectified. Imagine that, like nothing, because nothing is actually unimaginable. Nothing is unimaginable. 
how you can't or, or the best you can do with nothing is that it's grey and murky and I don't really like the nothing I much prefer the everything um, and in a way they're both just words and all that can be done with words that they're sort of tried to the brain and try to compare them to something else to make them knowable to make this safe and noble and what's been talked about or described here is this you know that the label making machine it seems to make it safe by this is a computer this is a meeting we're talking about this we're not talking about anything this is totally and utterly unsafe really isn't that beautiful that you can be here an hour and a half talking about nothing in silence and isn't that beautiful it's 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 amazing it's amazing <laughs> yeah it, it's yeah it kind of blows um blows my brains let's just say or that's just an expression to to express excitement it's it's it's, it's mad it's mad good old irish expression sure it's mad ted the whole thing Hi, Frank. Hi, yeah. So, I'm, uh, I've, I got a thread going on for the last couple of days of frustration and uh, getting a little angry at speakers. Mm. I say, you know, it's not, it's freaking obvious to you, but not over here. And, oh, well, sorry, there's nothing you can do. Yada, yada, you know, this, you know, this, this stop the talk. <laughs> And I was wondering if you could speak to that a little bit, or maybe something if you went through that, or well, frustration is that it's absolutely oh, not this? frustration. No, it's just exactly what you're describing. It's frustration right. and anger at speakers. That's what's happening too, because they use words like this is it's obvious. What's obvious? There's nothing I... that is obvious. This is, I know. It's right. So, but what's worse? than saying there's nothing can be done. What's worse than that is that there is already no one there. Yeah. And it's a fucking killer. It is. Because there's already no one there. And it's amazingly beautiful. And so then that's the paradox said at the start that if there's no one there, then there's no one asking that question no one getting frustrated, no one wanting to just tell, you know, tell this bald prick to fuck off and tell whatever else to uh, fuck off. And so <laughs> that's it then. That's fully this then. Free to be exactly, free to be frustration. But you could climb a million rooftops, read a gazillion encyclopedias, and you wouldn't know how to do frustration, but somehow frustration. And so then it's awful to hear that frustration is the miracle. But frustration is the miracle. It's just happening. But it doesn't make it by saying that it's horrible to say that because it right. makes it seem then oh he's saying it's a miracle that it's cuddly. No, it's it's just frustration. So what what's what is what is is frustration. This full to the brim as frustration. For no one. This full to the brim as frustration. There is no one. So there isn't a somebody who's a no one who can feel frustration, push it all the way over there <laughs> and be suddenly aloof. This is full, we're talking about nothing here. You see the problem in a way, it, it's a killer because it seems like this, because there's a microphone here and a voice box and it seems like he has something on offer here. That's what it yeah. seems like. It seems like he must know what this is. He, it has to, he has to know. He has to know. So no, he doesn't have anything. Nothing. And, then, and, then two and even like, that might seem like me, me protest too much. No, no, absolutely nothing. So how could I tell you what to do with frustration and not what to do? How could I tell you about anything? And then, and then you and other speakers get together and they laugh about it. 
Yeah, I don't know what you mean, but I don't know. But laugh yeah. about what? Like laugh about uh, anything. And you know, we wouldn't ever laugh. I wouldn't ever laugh about this idea of um, like I, I also, whilst I speak in a certain way, I do feel this is absolutely deadly serious, like rip roaringly serious because it is a and that's not sort of an empathy or anything. It's just simply this is it is kind of deadly serious. It's but it's also totally free. Yeah. You know, but there's this, there is nothing to gain here and nothing is not a thing that can be had. Because yeah. then there's images that, you know, like nothing, 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 not, not, a, not a fancy nothing, not a better, not, this isn't a better sitting on a chair, this isn't a better anything, it's ordinary life. And you just don't get to get it, but you never had it, thankfully, and you'll never lose it. It's just this. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Hi Frank. Hi. Hi. Um, so, God, oh my God, <laughs> Spike's all point. I feel like it's really pointless asking, like speaking, really at all, because everything I say is like <laughs> a lie, really. But I'm gonna say it anyway. So, just like, <laughs> it's just. It's just a story I know and it's just what's happening but just like it's just it is just mad that like it can there's no one here but it can feel so fucking intense you know like and just the energy in the body and the sensations and then whatever you know whether you call it anger or frustration or or I don't know, like excitement or anxiety or love or whatever. It's like, I don't know. It's like so intense. Mm. It's just, I, I 
Madonna, also <lacht> heißt das Mars? <lacht> <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. That's well, there's no one here. You know, I mean, it's just I mean, I'm not saying I don't I don't know what I feel, <laughs> but like I don't know. Yeah, there's nothing to say, is there? Though. <laughs> well, there's exactly that. You know, that's that's what you're saying. See, it's not a state. There's not. It's not a state. It's imagined. You see, however the imagination happens, it's imagined to be a, a state. But it's not a state. It's exactly what's described there. Everything, like, sure. If you could control, if you were really there, controlling the universe, sure, it should always be immaculately serene and at at one with an idea of a universe. I think, yeah. I think sometimes it's just quite frightening. I don't know, even if it is. <laughs> Speaking it up. <laughs> yeah, but you see that it is the kind of edginess. It is, it can, there can be fear at the full onness of um, you know, this, it's just full to the brim with whatever is being felt, with nobody there then to push that away, let's just say, and that even is a story, it's just full to the brim with whatever has been described. There can be fear, that seems to be, you know, it can be that, yeah. But it's as everything, so whatever is being described there is this, everything like, it's not, you know, sometimes there's an imagination because we're so used to living in this comparableness of comparing. Is this right? Am I doing this right? That's the predominant in subtle forms. Whereas, you know, who, how, how could anybody do anything? Do you know what's fully, what's described there is aliveness, let's just say. The, the human, the humanness, you could say. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's nothing to compare this to, it's incomparable, utterly incomparable. And what happens seems to be that it's, oh, well, that's what that is, and that's what this is, and that's what that, whatever is, and that makes it a thing to make it known and safe. But it's not knowable and safe. And all the words in the world won't make any difference whatsoever to this electric, edgy, but totally ordinary aliveness, just what is. So, if that's what's been described and that's what is. And that's, that's fucking it. That's the end of the story, luck. Like. That's it. <laughs> so what do you get? Ordinary fucking life. Here I'm cursing again. Ordinary life. You just don't get to get it. And you never had it. So you're not, you, know, you won't lose it. And you can't have it. Never lost, never found. <laughs> What is is a good as good as any, just what is. Thank God it's not graspable, is it's just yeah. <laughs> it's exactly as that, as not graspable. It's exactly what's been described there, because it's always it's it's not an it, it's this. And you can't escape it. It's in this is inescapable. And, and yes, trying to escape it is, would also be what is. You can't get, you know. There'd have to be somebody there already, you know. So then it's everything. Not a glamorous everything. Not a, an imagination of everything. Not an image of what everything is. 
ordinary, painstakingly ordinary, this. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.
Hey, Frank. Hey, yeah. I, I was thinking about drugs. Drugs. Do, 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 okay. Do they help? Do they hurt? Are they neutral? No, nothing helps. Are they in the way? Nothing is in the way. I figured. Um, what can seem to be, though, with the likes of psychedelics or whatever, they can um, evoke the idea and create images in the mind of what this is and what it isn't. And that can sometimes then people can go on a, a, chew, a train of, you know, uh, taking drugs more and more to try and get closer and closer and, you know, get back to or whatever. Um, and it can be just another seeking sort of thing that can happen. Um, and, you know, it can be a, it, you need to take it 10 more times to really blah, 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 blah. And it's always. So yeah. that can be just something that appears to happen as opposed to anything getting in the way of anything. So it's already then uh, just talking. Thank you. So it's already just this. Hi, uh, Frank. Hi, yeah. Is there any sense, do you have any sense of why this shift that doesn't happen ha happens or doesn't happen to some and not others? Yeah, you see, that's a that's a lovely romantic story. And you and it was already when you were when you were describing it, um that's you know uh, it's there aren't others there ah, isn't there isn't, right. there isn't there isn't one that can fall away and there isn't a shift you know that's the specialness that uh, i always wonder then when you hear words like that being used by some and i kind of go okay then that would make this then explainable and you could shift from a to b and there would be someone yeah. in there and this so this all that this is saying is that already Nobody asked that question there. Now, that's unbelievably disappointing for that, yeah. which, is as, which is as seeking energy. So there isn't you and seeking and looking for this. There's just this apparent seeking for this. Uh, and, but seeking for this is this as that. So it's what lost in the dream then of, you know, that there is still even, you know, that there is still something to be gained. Yeah. And even it's an amazing that even it can be lost in the dream of nothing to be gained. There's nothing to be gained. Well, I want that then. I want the nothing to be gained. And it's already sitting in the chair. And then what happens is, what do you mean it's already sitting in? Where is it? How, how do I get to there? That's am I missing? It's the sitting. No, it is actually as that then. Am I missing it? That's the miracle. You can't do that. It's just being done or just what appears to be happening. And you can't do the but, and you can't do the yeah, but, whatever. You can't do that, but that can be what's happening then. So then life is as that then, seeking for whatever. But there isn't you and that. You, there might be the dream of I am here definitely doing the seeking or not even the dream, the dream is a terrible word, that the felt sense that I'm definitely here doing it. And what's, that's just what's happening. Yeah. So, so saying yes and nodding the head is the suddenness of this. 
saying no but is the suddenness of this or whatever you cannot escape and you can't know it and you can't nor can you know your attempt to know this <laughs> Thank you. Hey, hey, Frank, what do you think of this comment? There's perception of this, then there's realization of the perception. And then it's not two. And what was the last bit? Uh, then there's not separate. Right. Yeah. Well, all of that you see just seems like a story. And I, I can't, I, I don't know what to say to all that. Perception, whatever. Like there's just simply what is. And even there, probably when you're asking that question, there's probably a sensing of the story level of that. It's like almost trying to juggle knowings to catch this so is it this then or is it that then or it's not anything but it, it what it is is as be as that question being asked and this response it's the fully aliveness of that it's the fullness of that which is awful it's you know so consciousness perception all of those it's, you know, so there's what is and then total wonderful cluelessness about what is. And already there, there is the total cluelessness, except perhaps there's overlays with what this is, that it is such and such a thing, that it's real, that it's life and he's gone. You missed it. It was brilliant what I said. <laughs> I missed it. Never I to apologize. be repeated. Yeah, I I that was, up. that was, yeah. I'm sorry. I didn't want to be <laughs> I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Thank you, Frank. Doesn't matter. Thank you. It doesn't matter. Isn't that amazing?
Hey, Frank. Hey, yeah. <coughs> Hi. Um. Yeah. I don't know, it's just. It's just funny that it's like it's it's all empty, but it feels like the, <laughs> like there's um I don't know just all the like I work with the general public and it's like images and the play of energies or I don't know like it's just kind of <laughs> kind of bizarre that there's nobody there but it's. Unbelievable, yeah. Um, we've got sometimes still the, I can't read that word, the bodies in bodies, Buddhism, me, Buddhism teachings are arising and interrelated about interrelated natures. Is it Buddhism that clarified that? Anita, sometimes still the Buddhism teachings are arising about interrelated nature. Yeah. That, I think that's what you're saying. I mean, I, if this could be taught, then it could be learned, shared, had, somebody would have it, somebody would be able to pass it on and share it. You know, 
so interrelated nature and uh, oh that that's oh that seems to be a big story to me um you know there's uh it's all fanciful and wonderful but in the end it's just ordinary inexplicable unfathomable this And they're all, they're all, uh, most every teaching is, a teaching is to someone, to give them some, from someone to someone. It's like teaching to sit in a chair, to breathe, or to, to do thinking or not thinking or whatever. Who could possibly teach all that? <laughs> mm.
Um, this question, is there any difference in understanding this intellectually versus experientially? that you realize that at the end of it, it's all part of this being dreamt though. So, um, it's absolutely nothing to do with understanding. Understanding would be absolutely useless because you'd have to remember it. This doesn't need to be remembered. Sitting on a chair, just what is, and the sudden immediate e of that. There's nothing that needs to be known. But what could you do to know this? What would knowing, how, how useful is knowing? in sitting and breathing and thinking. And I know how to think. Thinking appears to happen. I know how to feel. Feelings happen. So understanding there is no self. And there's a lot out there that can, that seem to talk and give them the, you know, it's like licking the world through a window pane. But, you know, that's, it's absolutely, it's becomes, this is totally nothing to do and thankfully nothing to do with words or understanding because then it could be bound and held together. So that's why it's already appearing exactly how it appears to be being. So it's exactly this. There's already no one. So fortunately and unfortunately, whatever appears to ha be happening is this. And then the idea of it's all part of this being dreamt is a kind of another knowing. Nobody knows that this is being dreamt or not dreamt. There's just what is. And do, you know, a dream is an awkward sort of a word because it gives the impression of, you know, there's once removed and there's waking up. There's just this. There's just whatever is unfolding. And all that's being described here is that there's no one doing it and there's just simply what is and there never was anyone there's just this unhavable uncatchable unknowable and yet appears like knowing and understanding can uh, happen but it's it's nothing to do with the immediacy who there'd have to be somebody to understand i know I don't know. It's all the same. It's just a, it's a having and an acquiring. There's no, this can't be had. But thankfully, <laughs> and really disappointingly, you're not there to have it. So there's already nobody. There never was anybody. Isn't that great news? <laughs> and you can't do anything with it. You can't go, oh, but okay. What would be the, re the reaction then? Might be laughter, there might be tears, who knows? You can't do the reaction, but you're not doing the questions. You're not doing the seeking. It's absolutely hopeless. I'm wonderfully just what it is. Yeah. There was always this feeling that uh, people like um, Nancy Nethercourt, Tim Cliss, and Michael Markham, when they speak about that falling away, which was very experiential. Mm. And for me, it is completely intellectual. I felt they had that little something extra, a little magic spark, some pixie dust. <laughs> which I didn't, <laughs> yeah. but uh, the more I'm listening, the more I'm um, just sitting. Yeah, it's all the same. Yeah. So it's, it's in a way, no matter, even when greeted with nothing, it always can seem enticing. You know, mm. they must have something. They sparkle with their words or their eyes. They seem to be just totally so happy all the time. Even when they're sitting on the dentist chair and the drill comes out and the root canal is happening, it's just happening. There's no pain it's a, or whatever. But it's, you know what I mean? It's images of specialness. And in a way, the, it's very difficult to say anything without some sort of, well, always a carrot. Because like we said at the very start, nothing 
nothing, 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 nothing is objectified. Still, even nothing on offer is objectified as a thing that might be. And all that is, is just that seeking energy, banging, even greeted with this, banging the head against the wall that, give me some of that pixie dust. <laughs> and as the same, you know, I know exactly what you're talking about. It's, but it's, see, it's, it's the same. It's just seeking. It's just, even then, it's just greeted with the no, nothing, just nothing. And it's, yeah. Uh, yeah. And, uh, but, yeah. But I, I do see even with yourself, I've watched your interviews from three years back, maybe. You used yeah. to speak a lot, you used to laugh a lot. Now you become so quiet. Right. You're more quiet these days. <laughs> <laughs> depends. Depends now. It depends. Yeah. Mm. Mm. yeah. Have a conversation with my wife about that and then you can find out. <laughs> you see, really, this with what we're talking about, this here is sitting on a chair and we're actually talking even more about the immediacy of just talking the, of this. So what can be said about this? If there was something attained or acquired here, good Lord, that would be amazing, wouldn't it? Then I could share something. Do yeah. you know what I mean? And then yes. I, I, I could show you the way. Show me the way to where now? Where? Who knows sure. where this is? Where is this? What is this? This is totally, immediately just this. And that's as much as you can say. Because that makes it seem like, you know, am I missing something? Actually, it is the movement of am I missing something? You can't do that. Yeah. 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 So it's just images. In a way, it's images of it must be better. They're holding, he's holding something back. He's not telling yeah. me the full mm. story. That's probably what's going on. He's that there must be something in it for me. Yeah. Uh, also, this question sort of arises uh, from the fact that all of these three names that I shared mm. speak so much of uh, about love. Mm. You know, they always talk of something called love. Mm. And I don't feel that love. I don't mm. feel any emotion anymore. Mm. So to me that love, so I feel that, hey, is it because they had this experiential thing that they talk of love? Whereas mine is very clinical and very cold, so, so there is it's, nothing. It's only words. It's only words. But love is the type of word that's. Hey, I was saying to somebody recently, it's kind of a battered and bruised word. You know, it's laden down with such meaning and such story that, as a word, it really gives the impression of something, and it also then plays into this idea, this unworthiness sort of idea of how come I don't feel the love. How come I don't feel the love? You know, that's really, so it's then it's uh, here comparing experiences. You know, that's what mm. it is. That's the kind of survival technique you could argue, but that's the story. But it's, it's comparison too. I don't feel that way. They feel that way. So they must be there and I'm not there. Well, the bad news and the good news is you're already not there. And... Uh, and it's just comparing and imagining that it is better. And that's the seeking. That's what it is. That's all it is. It's just so images sought. And, you know, love, I don't use the word love. Um, really, because of that, like what love, it's always a thing that can be imagined then. Love. Unconditional love. It, this is energy. And actually, in a way, you know, there, well, not even in a way, there isn't a thing called love or everything is love. But it's too late then with those sorts of words. But, you know, that's it's it's all just objectification of and there are separate things, but there are no separate things. There's just this wholeness. There's just this oneness and they're terrible words because it's just. 
it's just the sound and, or it's just the hearing then and then whatever whatever but but you know there isn't love or everything is love whatever you want to whatever you want to say there's carrot cake and potatoes <laughs> Thank you, Frank. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Frank. Have a good weekend. See you later. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>